Okay. How many of you have seen a movie called The Karate Kid? How many of you have seen The Karate Kid? I know that there's karate, the original Karate Kid. One, two, I think three. And there was, there's one with uh, Jaden uh, Smith, Will Smith's son. That was a, a very uh, nice version of the Karate Kid also. Now, in the Karate Kid, of course, as you know, he... What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, he he got together with Mr. Miyagi. That's I think that's how you pronounce it. Mr. Miyagi. And Mr. Miyagi is supposed to teach him martial arts. Cool. All right. So, he goes over to Mr. Miyagi's house. And <laughs> Mr. Miyagi... Gives him chores to do. Wash his car. <laughs> paint the fence. <laughs> and so. Ralph Macchio. Who plays the Karate Kid. <laughs> he's going to this man's house. Painting the man's fence. Washing car. Doing all kinds of chores. <laughs> and it gets to the point. Where. He's like. Hey man, when I'm gonna start learning, you know, fighting, martial arts stuff. You got me coming over your <laughs> You got me coming over your house, washing dishes, paint painting the fence and and, and uh, washing your car. I can't get with that, bro. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi said how did I teach you how to paint the fence? Like, how did I teach you how to wax the car? Mm. Mm -hmm. And so Mr. Miyagi throws a punch. Paint the fence! Mr. Miyagi throws a punch. Watch the car. These are blocking techniques. Here you are learning martial arts and don't even know you're learning martial arts. When you're learning martial arts, you go through ritual. You learn your kata. The different stances and you go through the different moves it's all ritual and you do this over and over it's a ritual to learn and teach you something and pretty soon it just becomes part of your being it's no longer a ritual. It's just a part of who you are and you respond. Outside of the ritual, you don't have to think about it no more. It becomes part of you. What brings me to this topic is we was on Moorish World TV. Shout out to Brother Tahaka Bay and Moorish uh, World TV citizens shout out to that platform thank you so much for the time being that we're welcome because as you know angel snuff number seven i have this thing about wearing out my welcome and i piss people <laughs> i piss people off <clears throat> what brings me to this this topic is that we were talking about the existence of god and all that and Brother Tahaka Bay said, I need this. 
I need this. I need the discipline. Otherwise, I guess I'll fall apart. I'll turn into some kind of monster or something. I, I, I don't know exactly uh, what would be the repercussions of him not being under uh, religious influence. I don't know. But he's saying, I need this. This is sad. Now in the beginning of your journey in spirituality, in the beginning of your journey within religious teachings, I can understand. But once we become and as we age and mature in our discipline, there has to be a goal, there has to be an ending whereas we don't need that no more. It's like Learning how to ride a bike. Some of us, we start off with training wheels. The wheels do the balancing. The wheels train us and teach us and show us about balance until we're able to do it on our own. Then we take the training wheels off and now we can ride the bike by ourselves. I'm not into religion and spirituality, so I'm not an expert. But I would think if your if your Bible and you can see this, it was in the the, the Psalms. You find it in the Psalm where it talks about we are God, and it talks about we are the children of the Most High. So, to me, it, it seems as though in the Bible and Quran, it is a training ground, it is training wheels, it is a teaching or it is the guidance to take us from where the Bible view us on this low level and teach us how to grow into God. Ye are gods. We are gods on this planet. But they would tell you, I'm just a child of God. You cannot stay a child forever. If you are in an adult body and you still possess the mind of a child, that's called, or you have a mental they call you mentally challenged. Or back in the day they called it mental retardation. You cannot stay a child forever. So humanity has had these books. Bible, Quran, these religious teachings. And you still call yourself a child. After all these thousands of years gone by, nobody, nobody has reached the level of God, of being an adult. There's a problem. There's a problem. You should not have to go through these rituals every Friday or Sunday or Saturday go to your houses of worship until the day you die you still need training wheels when Mr. Miyagi was showing the karate kid these different moves it was training him for an ultimate goal the ultimate goal in Bible and Quran and spirituality is that you grow up to be God
But before you can even become God or call yourself God, you have to understand your humanity. What we are as a life form. We cannot understand what we are or who we are as life forms because of the things that the Bible and the Quran is trying to get you up out of, which is our greed, our selfishness, our racist behavior, our misogynist behavior, our murderous behavior, our unjust behaviors. This is the purpose. These are the training wheels trying to get you to evolve into to your humanity because there's no way that you're going to become God if you don't first become human. The so-called human being, you're supposed to be better than the cow, better than the bear, the ant. You're supposed to be a higher life form. But when we look at our behavior, our behavior as so-called human beings, in reality, is on a worse level than the beasts of the field. You don't see them going to war every day. You don't see animals going to war every day. You don't see animals purposely destroying their environment for materialistic gain and all this other foolishness that human beings do for stuff that's not even alive. You put a diamond. You put paper money. You put gold over human beings you will die and go to war over oil and rubber and uranium and all these things these materials and you don't give a damn about life human life this shows you how sick we have become so the purpose of Bible and the Quran is to give you is a set of training wheels to help you evolve so that you can elevate and come into and understand your humanity. We understand this. And when you become and once you understand and become and understand the reality of your godhood there's no need for me to worship and pray to a God because I am God. Just like your parents. You honor your parents, but once you become a parent yourself, there's no need for you to look at your parents the way you did when you was a child. Because now you are a parent yourself. And whatever they were capable of doing, you can do now yourself. You're growing up, maturing. So I question a religion or a teaching that don't allow you to grow. That don't allow you to evolve. Don't allow you to become a man and a woman. That don't allow you to become a human being. And it is a hindrance to your becoming what it claims that's what it's all about. Cause you to come into your godhood. Maybe I'm off. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Jot down your comments and we'll catch you on the flip.